What's up everybody, Avignon here with chapter 3 of season 1 of Fortnite and we got new challenges that don't involve characters this time, it's just the old way. Actually, I don't really know how it's gonna work. You know, the first week is always weird. We don't know. We don't really know how it's going to be the entire season. But before we start this video, don't forget to use code Avignon at the item shop before you buy that battle pass. Thank you. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. So first off, we got the daily challenges again, the quests, daily quests. We got three of them as usual. You can have more if you play with friends. You get 250 XP per quest, but you can see the bonus over there. Bonus go. You get 15k per daily quest, but that it's only three of them. But you can only get 15k three times per day. So once you complete one daily challenge, it will you will get a new challenge. So you can't you can't replace your challenge like you used to back in the day but you can complete one and then you get a new one you know in the place of that and you can keep doing this for 250 if that's what you want to do but you should probably just focus on the 15k then we got the season and that's the one that's going to be weekly probably every thursday once again we were getting this on tuesday last season but now we are getting it thursday again so first off we got discover the device you we only need one of these but i'm going to show you all the locations the first two locations I show are the only unique ones. The other locations, you also find gems, which it's gonna be, <laughs> there are a lot of gems out there and they give you a lot of XP. You should do these. It's gonna be the last thing I show on this video, but either way, it doesn't really matter. You just need one of these devices anyway. So let's show you all these locations. Most of the locations are on these outposts that have, that have vaults, which we will also be covering later on this video and yeah scientist here. Am I the smartest, handsomest member of the Seven? A lot of people say yes. With the best hair? Don't answer that. Hold on to this device. As we prepare our battle plan, we'll have work for you. So there you go, once you pick up the device, you get three new quests. And so receive your next objective at the launch pad, receive your next objective at Mighty Monuments, and receive your next objective at In the Joneses. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna get the objective, as they say, once we actually get to the area. Let's do that. One. Let's go to the launch pad first. So hey, we left some wartime essentials in the old endless void of space. So we're launching a retrieval rocket. Problem is, somebody really doesn't want us to do that. I have my suspicions about who that someone might be. Destroy all three signal jammers. So we gotta destroy these jammers that are around this area. It's only three of them. And you have to do this on the same match. I knew 
I could trust you to destroy priceless scientific equipment? I'll send you the bill. Nice work. Hey, if we find what we're looking for up there, I'll ask them to bring you a little space rock as a treat. So that is the launch pad challenge. Now let's go to the mighty monument, which is, they're all very close together, thankfully. We can do the three of them in the same match. So we gotta play surveillance scammer. Two of them, and you have to do it once again the same match. You may have noticed the big guy's new statue. No comment, by the way, but they definitely hired someone on discount. I need you to figure out who keeps vandalizing it. I suspect loopers. Specifically, the big banana guys. Thank you. Very thoughtful for angling this camera at banana height. So this actually glitched for me. I have I had to complete this challenge like twice already. And I actually got the XP twice. So I don't know. So watch out for that, I guess. It's not a bad thing. lens flare so last quest is at the joneses it's a new poi you know the blonde ding dong in the suit agent jones well there's more of him and they've started their own society of dorks so how about bring them some supplies as a peace offering and then scout their camp to assess the threat level and all we have to do is place these supply drops. They're all pretty close together. So, yeah, very simple. Well, look at that. A little drawing of Sloan. And the foundation. With knives pointing at them. It's probably nothing. Oh, here's what we're looking for. A declaration of independence. They won't fight for anyone anymore. So it seems like they're disgruntled about being made to fight in a never-ending loop. I get that. I've got an idea. Let's buy their loyalty. And that is it for that. Let's go to the next challenge, next quest. Damage opponents while sliding. So sliding is a new feature on the season chapter. You have to hold crouch. You can slide uphill and on a flat surface, but you don't slide that much. You need to do 50 damage here. It's not 50 opponents, thankfully. And you can damage animals, as you see me doing here. So it's very easy. Basically one hit, two hits, depending on the weapon. Should be enough and that's it there's some next quest jump through flaming rings in a vehicle so there are two locations here first is on chonkers speedway you can find a bunch of cars right in the middle of the poi because it's a racetrack and right in front of the the cars the race the start of the race you'll see the the ring you gotta you gotta take the right The second ring is on rocky reels, so very simple stuff once again. Next challenge is search chests or ammo boxes and landmarks. So there are a lot of landmarks on this new map. I decided to go to the furthest ones. They don't have a lot of chests on this one that I landed. But there are a lot of way bigger landmarks on the map. Stuff like the Tomato Town from way back in the day. There's the temple also. I don't remember the name back in the day. But it's called the temple now. It's also very all close to where I am right now. But all around the map. 
map, if the if the place doesn't have a name in the map, it's because it's a landmark, you know? I mean, the place has a name, it just doesn't show on the map. So here is the ruins, which is supposed to be the old tomato temple. I don't remember what it was called. A lot of chests here. So you should get this almost naturally. I mean, again, there's a lot of landmarks out there. So next challenge is land at the daily bugle then finish top 25 so i didn't actually land at daily bugle but i was able to use a launch pad as you see here and it counts the same way thankfully because i was already at top 25 here on solos so you can land far away from the daily bugle make sure you find a launch pad get to top 25 go to the daily bugle use the launch pad you know if, if it's if it's in zone, trying to get a lot of healing items so you can stay in zone as long as possible. Next is open a vault with another player. So I'm going to actually show you all of the vault locations. This is going to be a little repetitive because the gems, as I said before, there are gems near vaults. There are a lot of gems, but if you just want the vaults, it's the locations here. So here's the thing. It says you need another player. I don't know how it works on trios and quads, if you need three people and four people, but you definitely need two people, even in solo. So how are you going to do that? I don't know if it works with an enemy if you can do that with someone helping you but it definitely works against the ai and there are always ar around the vaults as you see here so all you have to do is shoot one down him make sure you don't down everyone else because they're just going to disappear and carry him to the, the vault and it's going to count as two people and you can open the vault by yourself in solo you only need to open one for this challenge for this quest but you know they're trying to introduce you to the new stuff to, of the season so here are all of the other vault locations they have a lot of loot so they, they can actually be a good place to go
the next quest get eliminations with an smg or a sniper rifle so i think this is the only smg available and it's actually pretty good so just free eliminations it's pretty easy do it on team rumble if you need to next we got discover name locations so we got 10 of them we need to discover 10 of them but there are only 12 also once again there are gems on every single named location so you're gonna go to every one of them anyway so here's what the map looks like once you un uncover everything and that is it for these season challenges. i don't know if this is going to be the weekly it seems to be because it, as you see here it says additional season quests available in nine days i did this on i don't even remember anymore so it's thursday you're gonna get more season quests on thursday so i imagine this is going to be the weekly so next we got the shanta quest this is the first character of the battle pass and i believe you need to have unlocked her so buy the battle pass obviously to do this quest and i think we're gonna see next week how this is going to work but i already unlocked other characters from the battle pass and they don't have quests like she does so i don't know if this is going to be a weekly thing i don't know if the the characters are unlocked so far don't have the quest that she does these quest the her quest is it's a lot it's a hundred gems but you only need i think you only need 67 some something like that i'm gonna show all 100 possible locations it's possible it's 99 and i miscounted but it's a lot either even if you i mean you're obviously not gonna get all the gems i show because you don't need to but the ones you need to get it's still a lot so here's what i'm going to do so unfortunately you don't have all the gems available at once maybe not unfortunately maybe it's a good thing actually because it will be a lot of uh, very confusing you got three types of gem gems available to you first we got collect gem fragments outside seven vaults so once again the vaults i already told you you need six of them but there are seven vaults this is what i'm talking about there are more options for you than you need to actually collect and i'm going to show you all the options but you don't need to actually go there you got it next you got collect gem fragments at gas stations you need six of them once again but there are eight locations now i don't know if this is all the gas stations currently available probably yes because there are some things that it's not all the location and lastly it's gem fragments and no named locations so they're asking for 10 i said you needed all of them i guess you just need 10 but i'm gonna show you all of them anyway so once we unlock every one of them we unlock more of them as you can see here complete one more shanta quest to advance and so i'm gonna do all three of these at once and i'm not gonna do one at a time base so here i made a map with all of them at once so if you want to use this map you don't even want you, you don't even need to watch the video unless you get really lost this map is probably good enough so i'm not gonna do it in, in, in the order that the game is asking you to do it i'm going to do it in the order that is easiest for me to do so you will see i'm gonna start from the right side basically like the middle right side and then i'm gonna connect the dots you'll see so let's start this because there's a lot to go i'll see you on the next three challenges once you unlock everything oh also you get 20k per one of these so that's a lot of xp you also unlock her armor if you care about that
So now we got three more types of gems. So we got landmark gems. I don't think this map represents all landmarks. There are way more landmarks than these, but you know, that's what they wanted to do, I guess. You need 10 of them, but there are 12 available. And I'm gonna show you all of them. Excavate gem fragments inside dirt mounds. You'll see what that is in a second, obviously. You need eight of them, but there are 10. And lastly, collect gem fragments on crossroads using a vehicle. You need nine but there are 11 of them available so this is you're gonna need a vehicle you're not even going to see the gem if you're not in a vehicle once again this is a map with all of these three types of gems mixed in in there once again i'm gonna start from the right side middle right side the islands over there and we're gonna work through all this mess
So here we got another free sets of fragments, of gems, fragments, gem fragments. So collect gem fragments on rivers using a vehicle. So these ones will be in rivers, obviously, and you'll have to use a vehicle. So obviously you think it's easy to use a boat to get these, but I'm actually going to use a car because I can bring a car easily to the river and I can just drive through the river to get the gem. So collect gem fragments at docks. So one and collect gem fragments near characters so there are 20 characters there's not a gem near every single character
So now the final one, we got the Shinto quest, collect gem fragments high in the air. We only need six, there are seven. So, so yeah, they will be high in the air and all you need to do is build up to them or land on them. Very simple. 